everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Infiltration. So a couple of things have happened since last episode. We went through the financial report. Um, as you can see, we're into uh, the next month already. One day in, uh, not even a day in, but we've got the Hellspawn up and running. Uh, I was able to sell a whole bunch of junk that we had in inventory um, that amounted to a fair amount of C-bills, which was nice. We had like, I sold a couple of cores, um, some internal combustion engines, a bunch of other GAC. Um, so we were able to get enough C-bills to be able to go through that, plus get the Hellspawn up and running, which was nice. And what I also found too, if we go to the mech bays real quick, nice um, is we had enough po uh, um, parts to put together an Arctic Fox. So we've got that. Uh, we're going to refit this guy, have a look at what he's got on him. Not sure if he's got much on him. Uh, crap. So nothing. Um, Oh, he's got an LB-10X, though. It's damaged, so at least we have a backup one. Uh, Endo Steel is damaged. We can take that. A couple of double heat sinks. Beautiful. So we're just going to trash this guy. Um, and get him out of here. So let's just scrap him. 461,000, so that's nice. And we are managing to keep ourselves above water. We're at the beginning of the month. We can handle our financial report, which is excellent. The Hellspawn, I decided to make into a missile mech. So we got a pair of LRM-15s in this arm here. ER large laser in this arm. And this arm has got another ER large laser, an intersphere version, and a regular medium laser. Uh, regular double heat sink kit with some double heat sinks. And it's really heat efficient. Uh, 250 core. So it's relatively fast. I mean, it's not slow for a 45 tonner. It's relatively fast. So, um, yeah, that's what that's, that this guy's got. Guardian ECM in there. Uh, so that's going to be our missile mech. Um, it's also got four tons of uh, regular, LRM, regular LRM ammo and one ton of dead fire ammo. Now, I don't know if it will ever need that much, uh, but that basically ensures that we can just keep firing for an entire mission. So that's kind of why I went that route. It'll just stand back and shoot from a distance. So with that being said, let's get our current mechs and pilots back. Here we go. Have a look at the base just to make sure there's nothing we need to fix. No, we're up and running with these guys. That's beautiful. So let's look here um, at our barracks. I don't think we're anywhere close to having any more points to go up a, up a level on anybody here. Uh, but we'll have a look anyway, just in case. Nope, we're saving for uh, gunnery on her, so we're good to go. Okay, so let's go to the command center. We shall. So let's go after these battle mechs. Um, battle, and then the last one is Brilliant Mines, which is a recovery. We're going to do these two real quick. So let's negotiate this sucker out. Full salvage. I did sell a couple of extra mech parts uh, as well. Um, I'm keeping all the urban mech parts because it's relatively easy to put those together. All right, so let's deploy and get this done. Interface initiated. All right, here we go. Yeah, we're in a valley. Lovely. All right, two groups of guys up ahead. I wish we had our uh, LRM mech here. But we don't, so we'll deal with what we got. All right. Let's move in from this side, I think, today. Okay. I think what we're going to do, I was thinking about it on the way down here, is what we'll do is we'll uh, finish this mission up here and then jump to the next system. That'll get us a lot closer to uh, having our uh, health spawn into battle. And then we'll just wait and bring it into battle. We still have lots of time this month, so I'd like to try and get that into combat this, today if we can. So they got a support lance too. Allied turn, allied turn. Alright, I don't see anybody. Um Let's get into 
Yeah, here. See if we can pick up anybody on sensors. Oh, we can. Got somebody up here. Got a Jenner. Two mine dispensers, medium laser, SRM6, Hunter, machine guns, LRM, urban mech with an AC-10, a Griffin with an LRM-20. Ooh, interesting. Crapple Master, urban mech with rockets. That guy's got to go. And a dagger. Okay. Well, we can't target anybody, so... Target this guy though. Let's hammer him. I'm listening. Roger that. Now they can't get around on us, so we're gonna go in here and we're gonna go slug firing. Hopefully we can blast this guy. This Beautiful. Nice hit. That was a critical hit. Warning. Yes, Commander. Armor low. What? I hit my own guy? I believe destroyed. Oops, shouldn't have fired that. I didn't hit my own guy. Did I? Torso hit, really? I guess. We gotta kill this Irby here right here. R20. Griffin could be dangerous, but there's too many of us for him to single Griffin to, uh, to think to worry about the single Griffin. I think we should be able to handle that griffin with a shot. Uh, we can get around behind him. We can kill him really easy. Thirty-five tons. Can't have that much armor. Yeah, thanks for showing up. So I've been thinking, I think um, once we jump, I'm going to pull the Kit Fox out, I think. Uh, or maybe not. Maybe the Firefly. We might be able to take strip some of the Firefly, or sorry, the Firefly went into storage. Um, hmm. Don't know what to think about it. Maybe the Irby? I'm thinking about re redoing the um, the Kit Fox with different weaponry. So we may strip some urban some mech, uh, weapons from the Urban Mech. I may go with the ATM launcher in the Urban Mech. I'm not sure yet. I mean, the MRM-10 is working out okay, but we could put the ATM in, and it's a heavy, because we got HE ammo with that as well, put a couple tons of ammo in with it, because a heavier punch at closer ranges, and maybe we do that, maybe we do that, and we, maybe we put the pulse lasers in that one too. But we may have to up the engine to get it in closer, I don't know. You're dealing with small max, it's always so hard to try and figure out what to drop in when you have rare, like barely any space to put stuff. Got 
Come on. All right, now. How heavily do I want to push these guys? That is the question. We could go after that Irby with the rocket launchers. Which is, I think, probably a great idea. We don't want this guy firing. Okay, we can't get in to get him with this guy, though. Hmm. Well, we're either going to commit or we're not. Let's just do it. Yeah, crap. Lower, really low chance to hit. Firing. All right, we've got one shot on him. Yeah. Oof. Okay, you can get in the, uh, trees. It's far in this Irby. We got a ton of Irby parts too. Maybe when we're jumping to the other system, we take a look at how many Irbys we can put together that we're not, it's not going to cost us any money. Because if we can put a few of them together and sell them off, get some parts. Warning. Enemy sensor lock detected. Yeah. It's a dagger. Alright. Come on. You censored lock me, now what? Now this this urban mech too, took two two crits and we lost one of his rocket launchers, so Yeah, I mean, he's in a he's in a bad position. Okay, thank goodness that was a miss. It's really the rocket launchers that are more scary because I mean, they've got so many shots at six damage each, right? Come on, guys, pepper him. God, I'm loving the initiative on us now. This is great. That extra three points, man, it's making a big difference. I mean, these guys are really slow anyway. Yeah. But when it comes to fighting the clans, this is going to help out, that's for sure. we got to take some more missions against the clans, because uh, we're not getting any good gear from these guys. we got to pick up some more clan double heat sinks and things like that.
Okay. Fair enough. Didn't like what I did to you. I get that. Yes, Commander. I can see you can see you being some kind of way about that, and that's all right. Let's move into here. Uh. Yeah. Take this slow. And firing. Okay, got target acquired on him. Okay, we're going to go this route. I want to see if I can... Ah, oh, God, bad chances to hit. Ah, uh, one, one hit. I was hoping for better chances than that. Right here. Mm hmm Well, that's pretty good movement. We'll take that. We'll keep the slug ammo on because I don't want it to spill over. And firing. Beautiful. Now let's see if we can't deal a death blow to this dagger. Beautiful chances to hit, taking it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Someone was carrying inferno ammo. They're not even going to be able to recognize the mech. It's just going to be a puddle. Okay, don't have to worry about being censored locked now. Wow, Cattle Master, good shooting. The Balak Chopper moving in for something or other. You know, you almost want to use these as an as a uh, an airstrike unit. So, and we know, I know you know how you got artillery, right? You got onboard artillery and stuff, or the tag that calls in offboard artillery. Those are kind of nice, but you should be able to, you know, call in a, uh, a VTOL strike, and three turns later it shows up and attacks whatever unit you're you want, and it just comes in with rocket launchers, fires, and then is and then is gone the next turn rather than constantly being on the board. Because that way you can mitigate how, how, you know, these guys and their, uh, their pathing and their targeting. And it's, I know it's, they're sluggish still. Um, not as anywhere near as sluggish as they used to be. Right? But just having them show up three turns later, attack a unit, and then if they are not destroyed, they fly away. Just with rocket launchers, a couple of lasers or machine guns or something, and they just fly off. That would be a good way to do an airstrike too, right? Just have it like you know how we have that uh, the tag with the target. Just have it as like a tag with an airstrike that comes in three turns later and goes after the unit that you uh, fired on. That would be that would work really really well in a later game where you've got heavier mechs and they're lasting for a long time. Then they come in, fire a bunch of rocket launchers, and then leave. Okay, I should be able to burn through this Irby on the ground. This Irby here. Next turn, and maybe this one. No, I don't think we'll get all three. We'll, we'll probably get this guy, because he's been hit in the back, and I can kill him.
See what he does here. Oh, he did have a few rocket. Well, I guess one launcher left. Yeah. He's got his he's got energy one energy point left. I don't know what the hell it is. Small laser maybe. All right, let's take out uh A little bit of a flanking maneuver. Take out this guy. Alright, maybe not take him out, but do some damage to him. Yeah. Wow. Oh, he bailed. Okay, good. Now let's just move into a... Uh, Move over here. Commander. Commander. Full speed sounds good. Mm hmm Uh yeah, let's just go with slug. I think we'll hit. Nope, we won't hit. I'm guessing you didn't like that, did you? Well, he's unsettled, so I'm guessing he didn't. Beautiful. Moving lightning fast. Lightning McQueen! Firing. Oh, oh, I took a hit there. I'm kind of bleeding. What? We shoot you in the head? Beautiful. Yeah, you know, they're moving in now that we've uh, killed all the main opposition. Or a bunch of the opposition. Yeah, you did take a head hit. You shot your own teammate in the head. Goofy, man. Really? Now you cannot be the uh, Lance Leader now. That's 20 points in the head. Wow, the Cattle Master's got an ace pilot? Really? <laughs> How have you lasted that long? Okay, Griffin's the next target. This striker's taking a bunch of damage too. Or the hunter, I mean. So it's, you know, potential for a multi-target unless they kill it. The Crapple Master, meh. What do we got over here? The striker is the other one that hasn't taken any damage with the LRM-20. Oh, their Griffin's moving up. Okay. That's how uh, you just move up. Come on. Not sure who that was, but whatever. Oh, the striker. Right. It's the damn chopper. I wonder if there's a way to turn... They should have had had VTOLs on off in the... Uh, maybe there is. I don't know. In the uh, um, options when you install. Because if they're slowing things down, um, while they're a nice addition, we should have the option to turn them off just to keep the game moving at a relative clip. I'm receiving you. Just me. I don't know. Maybe I'm being too picky. Okay, do not shoot your partner in the back. Go on this guy. All committed. How might I help? You can help 
by not shooting your teammate in the back. Let's see if we can get you a double kill here. Uh, we can't because you don't have multi-target. Cattle Master? He's definitely going down this turn. Let's see if we can get rid of this guy. That should do it, yeah. Beautiful. Double heatsink kit explosion, eh? Commander. All right, Hellion. Affirmative. Let's just end this guy. Save a little bit of ammo. See ya. That's a kill, Commander. Saving the Griffin for last. So we don't really need to go for sea bills off this run. I mean, if we get an engine, great. Huh. Interesting. Why are you just standing back there? Warning. Enemy in rear arc. Yeah. Warning. Armor breached. Internal damage. You're here, you're there, you're everywhere. Let's work on this guy. Copy that, Commander. Beautiful. Reporting critical hit. Reporting. Moving out. Finish this guy Confirm. and not shoot me in the head. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Okay, now do I have? I don't. Oof. Beautiful. All right. Let's work on this a little bit. Ooh, that's it, eh? That's all you got for me? Let's just cluster this. And we're going to turn these two off and turn this on. We're just going to do some random hits on them. Nope. I was hoping we could get some uh, some more pepper in the legs, but unlikely. I don't know if we're going to be able to pull this off. We just don't have the ability to uh, have really good chances to hit the legs here. If we can take him down, we might have a good chance to do the other leg, but I don't know. Okay, I might help out a little bit. Ouch. I wonder if we just pull this guy down. How's he doing here? Okay, some severe damage in the leg.
Let's get over here. Let's OP this leg. Eh. No damage detected. Not quite enough, eh? Oh god, we didn't even hit it. Yes, Commander. God, no, I don't want you behind me. Let's just fire straight out. No barrage. Okay. Is that a leg hit? Yeah. Commander? Can we get a side shot? We can. Moving out. Beautiful. Take this. Hip destroyed, foot destroyed. Arm destroyed. Okay. Reporting. Affirmative. Let's OP that leg. Do we get it? We did not get it with all that. Oh, and you get the kill. Really? Mission successful. That was just sad. We lost the kill because of that. All right. We did take some damage, but it was all friendly fire damage pretty much. All right, what do we want to do here? Griffin parts, probably. ERPPC down here. Which we don't really have a use for right now. Ooh, 175 core. We're not really looking for sea bells, I don't think. So I think that's patchwork materials, of course. Cooling. Yeah, okay, let's grab the Griffin parts. We can't say no. All right, Jenner part, Urban Mech part. We might be able to assemble another one. Good, a core. We got the Patrick materials. Excellent. LRM ammo four times. Nice. Dead fire ammo. Beautiful. All right. 25,000 in five days. Okay, we're going to jump. We are going to jump. Don't need to manage the tasks, but let's uh, go to the navigation. Commander on deck. Commander on deck. I'm gonna go over here, horde. Eleven days. Let's do this. Roger that, Commander. Course plotted. We are sea bills rich right now. Hey, that was supposed to pause. Still love the jumps in this game. This looks still beautiful. Um, barracks. Nope, not barracks. Mech bait. Why do I always do that? I don't know. Okay, our mechs are okay. Just wanted to see if there was any other damage that we had to fix, but we're good. So let's make it to the planet here. Hell spawn in seven days. Let's see what we've got at the store here. It's all inner sphere stuff. Which is kind of bizarre. Double heat sink kit. NSS. Yeah, I don't know. All right, command center. Looks like we got a couple missions we can do here. Let's have a look at the barracks, though. I don't think we're there yet with anything. Orders. Reporting. Ready for orders. Nope. We still got a while to go. All right, so uh, let's get the hell spawn back, and then we'll take these missions. I hate wasting those six days, but. We want to run the hell spawn today, so let's have a look at uh, what we got going on. So we've got a cease and desist, wolf laboratory, destroy base, test drive, test drive a marauder two against a half a skull.
That's kind of ridiculous, don't you think? Recovery mission. Let's do cease and desist. This is going to be a little tricky, I think, but we're going to go for it. 3 out of 13. Let's hope we get some good stuff here. So we want to bring in this guy. I think we're going to leave out the Irby. Yeah. Um... Yeah, we want to keep the tag barrage. So let's leave the Irby out. Bring in the hell spawn. Let's do this. Alright, here we go. Let's keep our head up, our stick on the ice, and let's not get beat. Alright. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. Concrete and concrete. And then there's concrete. Yep, that's about the size of it. That's about the size of it. All right, let's flank right. I'll be there before you know. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. Let's get all the way up here. We pick something up? No. I'm receiving you. Roger Skipper. Kicking it. All right. We got a ton of ammo for those LRMs. So in theory, in theory, we should not run out of ammo in this battle. The streak ammo maybe. But those other ones, I don't think so. The LRMs will be fine, I think. MRMs should be fine. Well, we got somebody up here. Okay, vehicles. I don't mind the defenders being vehicles because they're loaded with clan weaponry. At least I'll be able to get clan weaponry. So one thing we're lacking right now... A lot of clan stuff. Uh, can we get... Ah, we're stuck behind our other lance mates here. Alright, well we'll reserve. Mongoose? Tempted to pull off a bit of a flanking maneuver right now. Where did I see the other guy? I thought he was up here. Commander. Affirmative. Okay, what do we got up here? Piranha? Okay. Uh, let's switch over to cluster. Better chance to hit. And we're going to leave the SRMs off for this turn. Guess I'll give it to him then. Okay, a little bit of damage to him and everything around him. Just in case there's somebody up here. I thought for sure we saw somebody up there, but I guess I was wrong. Alright, dumping a load in this guy. I know that sounds completely wrong, but it sounds hilarious at the same time, so that's why I said it. Anubis! No! Well, that's our guy. Okay, never mind. Yes, Commander. I mean, Anubis, yes! Can you jump over? We can, but we can't attack. As long as they don't shoot the building out from underneath us, we'll be just fine. 
Now, do we want to use the tag uh, barrage on this guy? I think we hold off. Certainly. It might be something good to use against the buildings. At least the garrisons come out to meet us this time. It's always good when that happens. One less thing you gotta worry about. Fighting them next to the turrets, that's always terrible. And as long as they don't have like arrow turrets or thumper turrets or whatever, we should be okay. LRMs I can deal with. Unless they're streak LRMs and I don't want to have to deal with them. Come on, buddy, what are you doing? What are you doing? For some reason we bought a brought a cargo truck that's blowing up buildings. Ooh, Ignis. An Ignis. We can't get all the way around, eh? That's fine. Get as far up as we can. So the hell spawn's got an okay loadout. I mean, it's all right. Wow, that's really bad. 23, 14, 21. Well, let's go score on this guy. A little bit. A little bit. Okay. Is that a turret? Could very well be a turret. And firing. I like me now. Alright, let's see how we do on this guy. As you wish. Beautiful, three hits. Solid connection on that one. Let's get off this building before they shoot it out from under us. I'm listening. Okay, let's give a multi-target here. Okay, let's put the cluster on B and everything else to A. Here we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. That one's done for Good job. Good job. I think that probably ends their eyes on too. All right, drop some missiles on this guy. Copy that, yeah. Anything is something good. I think he just blew up a building. I think they're blowing up a lot of buildings. In a way, I hope they get reinforcements after this. Get over here. And 
Rapid fire. Soften them up a little bit. Yeah. You can finish them off if you'd like. Chance to hit, 85. Uh, we want to go cluster. Well, you had 216 frontal armor, eh? Uh, eesh. Yeah, let's go this route. Because we've got lots of guys to go after this, so. Yeah, I need you to get over here, please. Uh, let's just move it so we can get our stability back. And firing. Yes, Commander. Beautiful. Reporting enemy vehicle eliminated. Shredded. Just got the piranha left. He's really a close range uh, mech, so. As long as we engage them from a distance, we're good. Okay, we can start seeing turrets now. Standard turret chassis, 55. Light turret. Okay, let's do... Um, let's not engage the mech. Let's start engaging these turrets. Twenty-six, eh? Well, let's go in this closest one. All right. All right, a little bit of damage. Keep shooting them, guys. Just hit them, though. We get a solid blue on it, we can, but then we're in range of the turret. Let's remove the piranha. If we can. Nice. Excellent. Have a seat, buddy. Look at all the machine guns on the damn thing. All right, you know what you do. Scratch another target. Okay, there's both legs gone. Beautiful. How might I help? Uh, we need to you to lay your tag barrage down, but you got to be able to see them to be able to do that. Uh, let's do it. See what we get on this. Beautiful. Look at that. Wow. It's a lot of damage. Should have saved that for the main buildings, but whatever. That looked impressive. Alright, let's drop some missiles on this guy. Engaging target. Beautiful. Target destroyed. Not sure what you were shooting at, but whatever. Yeah, this missions missions are definitely easier in the city. At least it seems that way. Okay, move so they can't get direct fire on me. 
You can target the buildings, but I really want this guy gone first. Beautiful. Get rid of this guy. Yes. One less turret. Now we might be able to get uh, Hellion in close enough to take out this closer turret without the other one seeing us. Don't right know. Mm -hmm. There we go. Flames on the way. We'll have to deal with that, but yep. whatever. We are a little bit hot as it is. See how we're doing here for heat. Let's go this route and fire. Not quite enough. That was a critical hit. That was Not quite enough. We do have our lerms over here. I'm here. There's no way to see just that one turret though. And this guy is what? Do we know? This turret. Just a light chassis. What if we just don't move? 18%. That's not quite enough. We need to move. Let's get right up in here. I think what which we what we do here is change to dead fire and camera this thing. This be Beautiful. One less Okay, laser turret. Not so bad. This is working out better than I would hope for. Yeah. Yep. Okay, uh, can we fire everything? We can. You're just tearing you up, am I? Got one more turn for that barrage to be oh two turns, sorry. Ah, never mind. Beautiful. I was gonna say we wait for the barrage to come back, but turrets are gone. Let's just do this and get it out of here. Get it over with. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm receiving you. Let's go after the large one. Engaging target. Nice. Drop it down, Commander. No reinforcements for them. See if you can get the kill here, buddy. Firing. Wow, two misses, eh? Really? Let's make sure we get it. See ya. No need, just come get us here. Thanks. Alright, contract payment increased by 35%, which will cover our damages. Which weren't very much. Wasn't very much, I mean. <laughs> which weren't very much. Alright, now. Uh, ATM 9. 5 tons. Clan ER mediums, which are nice. 
Ultra 20. What the hell had an Ultra 20? I don't know how we would say no to that. Uh, clan cockpit for one gunnery. Uh, Case 2 clan, which is really nice. XL engine. We've already got one of these. Uh, so tough to, oh, 40, 40 gunnery, sorry, 40 sight plus one gunnery. You can see what I mean, guys. It's so difficult now to, to decide. I can't pass up the Ultra 20. And maybe that was in one of the turrets? I don't know. But I can't pass it up, even though there's no ammo here because I don't know when I'll see it again. But the thing is, is I don't know if I'm going to find ammo for it, right? <sighs> Patchwork is nice. That's nice, but plus 5 heat generation is, 5% heat generation is not. XL engine is like 400 and almost 500,000 if we sell it. Case 2 is really nice. ATM 9, ah. Uh. Take that. Uh, 210 core too as well, eh? Now we don't have any extra. See, I sold all the parts under 30 tons, so we don't have any of these parts, right? So maybe ATM 9? And hope we get some ATM ammo. Patchwork is really nice too. Like the Rangefinder Plus with gunnery. Like this is going to give, this will give Goofy an, like an instant bonus increase. Right? If we give it to him, because he's already got a rangefinder, but that would be better with the extra gunnery. <sighs> yeah, I'm going this route. All right, AP Goss rifle, medium machine guns, endo steel. We got the core. That's nice. Some heat sinks, ATM ammo, which is a bonus, but we didn't get the ATM. But now we can keep our eyes open for those because we should have enough ammo to put together an ATM build. All right, 2,000 for repairs. That's nothing. Beautiful. All right, so we got like five days to wait now. Uh, can we pull off? Yeah, I think we'll do, I don't know, test. Maybe we do this for a joke next time, but this sounds so ridiculous. Urban Combat, Marauder 2 against a half skull. Now, I don't know if it's just that one mech against the half skull lance. I have no idea. I have no idea. It might be better to do man of the people. Do an escort mission. Well, we'll decide that for next time. I don't know. I'll have to see how it goes. I'm interested to see what at a half a skull they could throw up against the Marauder 2. Like, I mean, I don't know. It's like, I guess it's just so people can test pilot the, the, the higher level mechs before you get there. I, I don't know why it would be there, but whatever. All right, I'm going to leave the episode there, guys. We've got more than enough Seabills right now to handle our financial report, which is great. Actually, let's look at, um, before we go, um, uh, So this gives us the ability to drop an additional mech at 480,000 and it's completed in six days. I'm going to go ahead and do this because I figure we might as well, we might as well start going that route. Uh, if we're going to have it, we got five mechs, we got enough pilots, 
right? We might as well, if we're going to be waiting um, five days before we can go, we might as well wait six and drop an extra extra mech. So we're going to do that uh, and then take the escort mission, which I think might, you know, pan out. If we've got uh, five mechs, it might be actually quite good. All right, so I'm going to leave the episode there. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop all your comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.